skin. I mean, uh, that's amazing for uh, the T lymphocyte white blood cells to pick it up and get marching orders. Right. Real human antibodies from somebody who survived to give your immune system a boost because you're not it's not going to cure you but it would give your immune system a boost give it a little bit of a, a head start on this so that's the idea behind it they've used it to treat diphtheria they've used it to treat measles they've used it to treat tetanus a whole wide range of things even in the SARS outbreak you had a Hong Kong scientist but this is something they can't centralize like vitamins and minerals so they're not going to let it be developed exactly so what they're doing with ZMAP is they're essentially mimicking that, but using a patented artificial genetically modified and a transgenic genetically modified process to do this. In other words, instead of injecting human antibodies, they give Ebola to a mouse. And when the mouse produces antibodies, they genetically modify those antibodies. And then they grow those antibodies in genetically modified tobacco plants. Okay, or they are, they're now talking about growing it in animals so they can mass produce it using the... Here's the problem, though, and even Forbes gets into it. It. The problem is, is that this thing's mutated 300 plus times in the last six months. With human blood, you can always get the latest and synthesize something out of that that is catching the latest bad mutation. This won't work with Big Pharma. The turnaround with the mice and the tobacco is months. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry, go ahead. But it's also... It, it underscores the fact that this truly is about making profits for them. Because if it wasn't make, about just making profits for them, they could take human antibodies and they could try to reproduce those human antibodies in a plant. But instead, they start with a genetically modified mouse antibody. Why? Because they can patent that. They can't patent something that they took from somebody else. The Supreme Court's been striking down, which they already tried, saying they can own human DNA. So now they're doing the mouse. So they're going to take this very long approach. And here's the other thing that worries me about this, Alex. That's because the mice are patented, too. Yes. They have their special right. They want, they want to mass produce this, make sure they've got all the licensing agreements set up for this. Oh, of course not. They're not worried about profits, right? This is just their uh, tax write-off for the Well, year. clearly a talking point went out, David Knight, because I've seen, let me not exaggerate, I hardly even follow it, but I get Google alerts when, when the news probably five articles a day saying we're horrible for saying they want profits. Mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe a six or seven other articles a day saying we're insane. I, I mean, people can say I'm bombast. I'm bombastic. I am sometimes a rabble rouser or whatever. And that's entertaining and folks like it, but I'm, I'm a real person, but I have all these other serious reporters here as well as we try to get more serious and more focused and they attack you guys even more because it is the credibility they don't like. If it wasn't about the money, why are they waiting for months to get this ramped up into production before they start introducing it to people when they could cheaply do it right now with a donor registry? They want to sell this, and I believe they want it to get larger. I believe that they want it to get beyond Africa. Oh, clearly. Africa doesn't have the money to pay for expensive treatments or for vaccines or whatever. They want it to get into the West. They can get the resources of Africa if this thing gets out of hand, but they want to get the West forced to sure. take some kind of a vaccine that's going to make them a lot of money. But the bottom line is, why would, they, why would they imitate something that they say is unproven? And we know that it's proven because they've used it for 125 years successfully, and it's just a treatment. It's like... Like when they're, when they're uh, vomiting and, and have massive uh, loss of bodily fluids with diarrhea, they need to be rehydrated. They need to keep their electrolytes in balance. If you don't give that to somebody, they're going to die. And so they say, well, we don't really know if that's effective by itself because, of course, it was a combined with this. Yeah, they're withholding treatment from people in Africa, claiming they're looking for a miracle drug. David, they don't like this. I want you to really do a big report on this video and text for Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And I want you to come in and co-host on Wednesday and really spend an hour on this. Okay. Maybe get some medical doctors on as well because they're scared of us covering this. So we better stay on it. If they're trying to shut us up, we're not going to be intimidated by them. We're going to continue to focus in uh, on things that are curing some people, like blood transfusions, uh, that they don't want the public to know about. Thank you so much, David Knight. Thank you. One other point, we're going to come back and play this clip, David. They also, in this article out of International Business Times, demonize one of the biggest papers in Africa for having an epidemiologist and virologist, two different ones being interviewed, saying they believe it's been souped up in a bioweapon lab. And then that article that they even link to links back to the huge trials that they had in Europe, at the EU, and in South Africa, where they admitted a secret bioweapon program between Israel, the U.S., uh, and South Africa, where they used South Africa to produce uh, basically a vaccine that sterilizes African women by having them create an autoimmune response to sperm. Mm. Now, this all came out and was admitted.
This is, this is why you have African Nobel Prize winners and African presidents and African virologists coming out and saying, this looks like it's been souped up. The, the, the West has labs here. We think something's going on. Well, they have to be crazy not to think that because of the history of it, David. Oh, yeah. You had situations, of course, everybody knows the uh, Tuskegee Institute where they experimented back in the 1930s on black people. Right through to the 70s. Right, right. right. And, and what happened to that scientist who was head of that study? Well, they had a medical historian realize that after that Tuskegee study, they had a doctor who went down to Guatemala and with the approval of the American government. Get it there. And with the Guatemalan government, they did experiment some people down there without their full consent. The first story that I did actually started even before I got here was about the EPA doing medical experiments on people in North Carolina. With lethal gases. Exactly. What they had said were lethal levels. All right. We're going to come back. Thank you, David Knight. Great job. Wednesday, I want to hit them hard. Okay. So you got two days to work on this. Great job. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we're drawing flack. We're over the target. When we come back, secret project created weaponized Ebola in South Africa. It's all confirmed. Oh, conspiracy theory. If you have candida overgrowth, just taking antifungal agents or starving yourself of sweets does not address the cause. Candida overgrowth is the result of a toxic, damaged, acidic, low oxygen, and inflamed tissue environment. The goal should be to remove the toxins, heal damaged tissues, restore healthy pH, eliminate inflammation, and feed beneficial bacteria. Previous usage of antibiotics or steroids or exposure to mercury or other toxins can damage many cells in the GI tract and body that make you prone to candida overgrowth. Removing toxins and healing tissues issues should be the goal. One World Whey is a whey protein food that supports detoxification, repair of tissues, and elimination of inflammation, healthy pH, and growth of beneficial bacteria. One World Whey is duly reformulated to be higher in protein and lower in carbohydrate. We believe One World Whey is an excellent food to support your efforts to create a healthy internal body environment. Call 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorldWhey.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. It's already too late. Criminals have kicked in your door and are now in your home. Before this happens, homeowners have a choice. One, do nothing and hope you aren't one of the 1.4 million families attacked each year. Or two, refuse to be a victim and for as low as $59, reinforce your doors with door devils. Door devils simply attach to existing door frames and have proven to stop the biggest bad guys from kicking in doors. Read our police testimonials of real-life events at doordevil.com. Alarms don't stop kick-ins. We do. Doordevil.com. With all the chaos in the news today about riots, financial bubbles, and pandemics, the time is now to stock up on your survival kits, emergency food, and water purification systems at endtimeswarehouse.com. Go there now and save big on nascent iodine, which usually sells for $29.99, now only $24.99. Find everything you need to be prepared at endtimeswarehouse.com. Preparedness for the end times or anytime. endtimeswarehouse.com. Don't want no shackles on me. Don't want no shackles. Don't want no shackles on me. Coming up, I'll give out the toll-free number and give you the latest on no our shackles. push to get people to go on strike. The mainstream no media shackles. won't report on it. We're getting a lot of emails and intel. Folks are staying home to lobby Congress and the media to stop West African flights to point out that borders do matter and do do something. The White House deleted our petition to stop Ebola. That's up on Infowars.com. Claimed it violated terms of service, though it didn't. I mean, we know they don't 
follow the, the petitions, but they're bully pulpits, so that's why we use them. Kit Daniels wrote about that last night. I had him repost it to the top of Infowars.com. But uh, the article uh, in question is by Dan Taylor on Infowars.com. Excellent article. Secret Project created weaponized Ebola in South Africa in the 1980s. And this clip is from BBC News. Just like we have PBS with the weaponized Ebola here going airborne from 1990. And of course, all the top virologists are saying it appears that this strain is beginning to go airborne. And there is a top scientist, very famous, operating out of South Africa during the apartheid era, Dr. Wouter Basson, launched a secret bioweapons project called Project Coast. It's very famous for the informed, totally unknown to the unwashed uh, sports fans out there. And they, the U.S., Israel, a bunch of others, Germany, they couldn't produce race-specific weapons in their countries. So they had South Africa do it. And because most Arabs do have African blood in them, they modified the one he was developing as a vaccine that would basically make the body attack sperm, a woman's body. And this is clearly already in use. But he was also producing weaponized Ebola. But how dare those Africans that are constantly being tortured, constantly being attacked, constantly being tested on first. But you won't hear that from Jesse Jackson. He'll just tell you how there's racist white people all day running around. No, the average white person is not running around racist, okay? They're a bunch of bleeding heart twits that'll turn their guns in if they're told to because uh, they don't want to be called racist but the people running it at the un level you better believe they want to kill black people and they want to sterilize them and all this stuff that gets tested on them gets ended up used on everybody so let's go ahead and go to this clip here it is he was a wonderful fellow mad as a hatter he used to rock up in south africa having flown in intercontinental flights with a trousers pocket full of goodies in sealed vials that he claimed were new and wonderful organisms and could do the most wonderful things on Earth. Larry Ford had mutated cholera, typhoid, anthrax, botulism, bubonic plague, and had also come up with germs that he called kaffir killing germs. Kaffir, as you may know, in Afrikaans is the equivalent of the N-word. So these were germs that were specifically engineered to kill only black people. In other words, an ethnic biological weapon. Had Project Coast really gone this far? From the beginning, this idea of can we find a way to control the size of the black population was considered one of the most important areas of research. It got even more important over time as the size of the black population and the seriousness of the uprisings increased. So. There, that's one reason why they got into genetic modification research into is there a way to have contraceptives uh, um, that could mm, somehow uh, basically sterilize blacks without them knowing it. All right. And kind of the full clips, of eight minutes long. It's up on Infowars.com right now. Oh, but the International Business Times made fun of me. Don't do that. I'm going to fall down and cry. Oh, I'm so scared. I got in this to fight, bastards. You understand that? I got in this to Thank stand up for, for innocence. GCN. Okay, and I don't want to hear there are too many black Visit people. GCN Live. You act like you're a bunch of liberals, but you wink, wink, hey, let's kill the blacks. You people are a bunch of idiots. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee. Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit They put a diamond gusset in the crotch Where you need it most Blue diamond gussets got it Others don't 
turn jeans inside out. Diamond Gusset Jeans, made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection, so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond Gusset Jeans got it, others don't.